Bonjour, mes amis, and welcome to Gourmet Cooking. We're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to take some very pretty, pretty shrimp, some nice gulf shrimp, and we're going to saute those and add with that some flavoring, some wines, and some brandy, and it's called brandied shrimp. Then we're going to strain the sauce and make a beurre blanc sauce by working some butter into that. It's a great taste, and it's going to be just a lot of fun to eat. Along with that, we're going to make two kinds of balls, that is a rice ball and a potato ball, each of them seasoned with different ingredients and rolled into breadcrumbs and deep fried. Two kinds of balls, uh, savory balls they're called. And along with that, we're going to have some ice cream cones, but we're going to fill those with an orange mousse. It's a little bit different and a lot of fun. It displays real nicely. So that's the dishes for tonight. And for those of you that are interested, we're on page 36 and 37 of volume four of Gourmet Cooking. Putting the recipes aside, let's go quickly to our dessert. I say quickly because there's a lot of little chores to do tonight, and we got to get them done in the time that's allowed. For our dessert, we're going to start with, let's see if I can reach these items. We need a half cup of powdered sugar and a half cup of powdered almonds. Now, I took some almonds and put them through the food processor and just pulverize them to make an almond powder. And along with that, we're going to put one egg white. Now, let's blend the sugar and the almond. We're going to put that one egg white and mix that as best we can. It's going to get nice and sticky because that's not enough liquid for all those dry ingredients. But then we're going to add the juice of four oranges. And we put that on to heat now. And we need to stir that fairly constantly. But we'll come back to it and watch it from time to time. We do this until this thickens a little bit. It won't be real thick, but it'll begin to hold a shape when you put the whisk in, you whisk back and forth. So we'll come back and do that every few minutes. And the other ingredients for that dish are going to be one and a half cups of canned condensed milk. And then we need some gelatin with two, two packages of gelatin with two tablespoons of water and two egg yolks. So while this is going on over here, let's take the egg yolks and blend those into the milk. Put that aside. And then taking the water, we'll soften our gelatin and add that to our milk and egg mixture. And as soon as this becomes a little thickened, we can add those ingredients and get that into the refrigerator. Now, let's let that cook a little bit, and while we're waiting for that to come up, let's talk about our shrimp dish. We're going to need a couple of items. We're going to need a couple of onions and carrots. Now, we've already cut the onions and the carrot, one large carrot and two onions. We cut those into small pieces, and we're going to, we need to saute that in some butter, and we've already started that to save a few minutes. So I'm going to turn the heat back up on that. I had it kind of low. As you can see here, we've got the onions and the carrots, and we want to cook those for just about two minutes. And then we're going to add to that some water and some other ingredients. But let's that get that come back to heat now. And all right, this could cook a little longer. But we're not going to wait, because I've already done this, and it's in the refrigerator. But we'll proceed as though it were. This could cook for maybe another three to four minutes, and that would thicken. It's beginning to thicken already, the sugar, the almonds, and that egg white. To that, we want to add the milk, the gelatin, and the egg yolk, remembering that we had orange juice in here as our major flavor, along with the almond. Now I'm going to bring this pot forward because we're going to need that to cook our shrimp, 
and we need to get that butter melting. In the meantime, the last ingredient we need is some the two egg whites, which were beaten until they were very stiff. Now, we're going to transfer this to a bowl, and we're going to transfer it because this is hot, and we don't want the, to put the egg uh, whites into the liquid if it's very, very hot. You want it warm or even room temperature, ideally. So we're going to work in these egg whites, and this is going to give us a sort of a mousse, a gelatinized mousse. When that gets into the refrigerator, this is going to uh, solidify and gelatinize and give us our mousse. So let's get this going so we can get this in the refrigerator, and then it will take about three hours to really get nice and firm, but we will Tell you what, I think we're better off with our whisk here to incorporate those egg whites into the base material, base mousse here, the orange and milk gelatin. All right, we've got it all nicely mixed. That egg white is incorporated, gives it lightness. The gelatin is going to make that gel uh, become firm. Let's put that in the refrigerator. And that's the beginning of our dessert. And then we'll come back to that and finish it as we can. Now, in the meantime, take this off. We don't want it to burn. Putting all these little dishes aside, we want to add one cup of water to our onions and carrot and butter. And we want to let that cook for about four to five minutes. I'm going to turn that high so it'll come up to the boil, putting that little bowl aside. Let's come back to our shrimp, our, our butter for our shrimp. And that's going to take a little more butter. We need about five tablespoons in all. We need a little bit of fats to saute our shrimp. These were nice shrimp. We peel them, we devein them because they're not very pleasant when they're large like that and you have that intestinal vein still in it. But we did devein these and we're going to first of all saute our shrimp until they're pink just a little bit in the butter. We'll toss those. And this is brandied shrimp. This principal flavoring ingredient will be a nice brandy. And then we're going to whisk in butter later to create what is called a beurre blanc sauce. Whenever you have an acid with wine or vinegar or something, you can whisk in butter and it will thicken the sauce and becomes what is called a beurre blanc sauce one of the most delicate and delightful sauces in the French repertoire. Let me put this aside so it'll be out of the way. And let's toss our shrimp in the butter. We just want those to cook until they are nice and pink. Don't need that piece of lemon. Our onion, carrot, and water are cooking nicely. Now let's go to the other ingredients we're going to need. We're going to need brandy, white wine. You see, we have about a half, about a third cup of white wine and about a quarter cup of brandy. We need some basil and some parsley. So let's chop our parsley so we'll have it ready. All right, we have our parsley. Let's put that back in the container. And toss our shrimp again so that they'll all be covered or coated with the butter. It takes about three minutes or so to get these shrimp turning nice and pink. Aren't they a beautiful color? And it's one of those wonderful tastes that come from our 
Gulf of Mexico here in Pensacola and from other waters around the world, but we are very proud of the shrimp we have here. Aren't they beautiful? All right. Now, we have the onions and the carrots in the water. We'll add our seasonings in a moment. In fact, I think it's about time. Let's add, first of all, some basil. We'll add the parsley. And we'll toss all that. This is also going to need a little salt. And some pepper. So let's toss these while these shrimp are turning pink in that butter. And the fragrance is absolutely fabulous with that basil and parsley and the butter. And we can now add our half cup of white wine and one third cup of brandy. And we'll simmer those for a few minutes. At which time we will add our vegetables that have been cooking in that water there. All right, we have some butter here that we used. We might need a little later on. Let's pick up the rest of this out of the way so that it won't interfere with our process here. So taking our... Now, taking the onions and the water and the carrots, we want to blend all this together and we're going to simmer this. We're going to turn this heat down lower. We're going to simmer this for about three to five minutes and then we'll come back and proceed with the finale of this dish. In the meantime, we have some oil for deep frying going on over here. Let's take this pot. I may need it again. I'm going to rinse it out and put it back on the stove. Now, let's go to our two kinds of balls. Let's go with the rice balls first. We're going to need... Now, I'm only making a small portion of the recipe because I've made so many already, but we need some rice. Actually, it calls for one cup of raw rice or three cups of cooked rice. We have some breakfast sausage which we want to chop, and that was for a half pound of the sausage. We'll add this one and one more. We then add to that, we had one cup in the recipe of chopped tomato, we chopped, we peeled and seeded the tomato, and we have some Gruyere cheese, about, oh, a quarter of a pound. We're going to need a little salt and pepper in that. And this is going to be one of the two balls that we will make. Now that's the mixture. Now let's stop a moment because we need to go back to our shrimp because those shrimp are about ready. We're going to take a serving platter and as quickly as possible take the shrimp and place those onto a serving dish. We will probably want to keep those warm by either covering them with foil or placing them in a very low oven, like a 250 degree oven. I'm trying to get as much of the shrimp without all the vegetables because we're going to strain those out and use the sauce or complete the sauce. These shrimp cook very quickly, as you can see. Doesn't take long. This is probably taking longer to get them out of the pot than it is to cook them. It would be nice to scoop it up, but we don't want all the onions, only the little bit that's clinging to the shrimp. 
Sounds like the oil is ready for our potato, uh, for our balls, but we're not ready for them. So we need now to, what we need to do now is strain this sauce and then proceed with the cooking. Now I'm going to put these aside and we'll come back to those. Let's get a nice strainer and I have a large bowl here simply to catch the liquids coming from our sauce. We no longer need the skillet, but we will need to take this pot that we cook the onions in. And taking this sauce, remember that's the wine, the brandy, some water, all the juices from those vegetables. We want to turn that on high heat and boil that and try and reduce that by about half. And we will come back to those. In the meantime, let's take the other batch of ingredients and we have again, we needed two pounds of mashed potato, two pounds of potatoes mashed is what I'm trying to say. And uh, to that we're going to add some salami. So we're going to take a little bit I have here. Remember, this is a partial recipe because there are so many steps to this. We're going to run out of time, so I'm going to hurry now and say we're going to add a little bit of milk. It was about a third cup of milk and, again, a quarter pound of cheese and a little bit of a hot sausage or a chorizo sausage. And we had that all chopped up. And a touch of parsley. So we add that, plus a little bit of butter. And this goes together to form a mixture with salt and pepper. Our sauce is boiling down nicely. A little bit of pepper. Remember, we still have our dessert in the oven. So I'm going to rush through this making of the balls because we have many already made. So let me just take this and put this aside for the moment, picking up some of this, and bring up to the front the ones we have made already. And that's going to take, in the case of the potato, we simply grab a portion of it. We roll that into a ball and then make an oval shape. Rolling that in the breadcrumbs, we'll add that one. You do that for all of the mixture. For the rice, you do a similar thing, except you do not make an oval. You make this into a round ball. So once you've got a little bit there, you can then bread that, and we'll add that to the ones we already have. So that's making the two round balls. They need to fry for about five minutes. I think our oil is about ready. So let's slip the, the balls in, turning the heat. Placing the potato and the rice balls. We'll have to put some more in at another time. I think we've just about loaded the pot. So let's let those cook. We'll turn the heat down a little bit. Going back to our sauce, we now want to take and whisk in. I'm looking for my whisk. Taking our butter, we want about six tablespoons of butter. We're going to whisk this in to the acid of the wine, and that should cause a thickening. Let's turn the heat down.
and we'll add a little more butter. And our sauce has a nice thickness. Stopping again, let's take our various kinds of balls here and put those on paper towel. Two rather interesting flavors, rice with uh, a number of seasonings and potatoes with a number of seasonings. So while we're here, let's put in the rest of these and they will be ready in a few moments. And we'll let those cook for about five minutes. Taking our shrimp, bringing that up front, we want to pour our nice beurre blanc sauce. It's got a nice thickness to it. Pour that over that flavor, the concentrated flavor of the brandy, the wine. is just perfect and will be a great accompaniment to the potato and the rice balls. All right, spreading those around, we could take a few pieces of lemon and decorate our platter. We'll take our rice balls and then go get our dessert, which has one little chore left to do to it. So we have our shrimp, brandied shrimp, and what a wonderful flavor. We're going to take, well, I will just have to wait on those that are cooking. We'll take the ones we have. Let's turn the heat up on those, that might help. But we'll take the rice balls and the potato balls that we have, and we'll add the others while you watch the recipes. But in the meantime, let's go to our dessert. These are nice and tender, and what a wonderful flavor that's going to make with our shrimp. And I think you will agree, it's already becoming a very pretty meal. Let's go quickly to the refrigerator and retrieve our mousse. And what you see, now we had to, because of the sake of time, we had to do some of this ahead. And what we did was take that gelatin that we had, we put it into a pastry bag, and we simply fill the cone. We have another one. Fill it. With that gelatin, orange gelatin mousse, and we'll garnish that with a little piece of kiwi fruit. We placed some of the gelatin in a nice bowl in the middle. So taking our serving platter here, we'll place our orange mousse in cones. For dessert, our brandied shrimp with its beurre blanc sauce, and our two kinds of potato balls, deep fried, flavored, crispy and crunchy. It'd be great with that sauce. Now we're going to bring this into the dining room and set it up for you. In the meantime, here are the recipes.
you ready for some shrimp? I know we are here. This beautiful shrimp, our nice gulf shrimp, large, pretty, pretty shrimp. And they are swimming in this beautiful brandy and butter sauce, a beurre blanc sauce with a brandy flavor, seasoned with parsley, onion and carrot, a fantastic meal, fantastic dish. And along with that, we have our potato and rice balls, the oval potato balls and the rice round balls, flavored with various sausages and cheese and deep fried. Oh, they are so good. You bite into them and you get all these flavors coming together. And then our sweet dessert, our nice orange mousse, orange and almond mousse, really, in ice cream cones. It's a fun, novel way to serve it, and I'm sure you'll get raves if you try it. It's delicious, too. So let's serve ourselves a little bit of this. We have to have some of this shrimp with that beautiful sauce. We'll take a few, leave a few for my friends here, and we'll take a potato or two, a potato and a rice. We'll take a potato cake and a rice ball, and <clears throat> come back afterwards and try a nice orange mousse. So with that, we're going to have a little white wine to round out this meal. It brings out flavors and adds its own enjoyment. A real fun meal. It's not hard to prepare. Take, a lot can be done ahead of time. So this meal can be one, two, three at the last minute. The dessert certainly can be prepared well in advance. So we have our meal, beautiful shrimp. We're going to enjoy these. I hope you will try this and join us, won't you? Abiento. La douceur du temps nous fait des avances. Partez, mes enfants, vous avez 20 ans. Partez en vacances. Vous verrez agile sur l'onde tranquille. Les barques dociles aux bras des amants. De fraîches guinguettes, des filles bien faites. Les frites sont prêtes. Et il y a du vin blanc. Oh, le petit vin blanc. 